President Obama says Republicans are blocking a deal that would stop mandatory budget cuts, about 2 percent, from going into effect at the end of the week. But legally, can't the president step in and stop the standoff himself? Let's ask Judge Andrew Napolitano. He's our Fox News senior judicial analyst. Hi, Judge. Good morning, guys. What can be done legally? Well, start out with a couple of uh, a couple of bases. The base is this is not a cut in spending the sequester. The sequester is a reduction in the increase planned spending. It's not a budget cut because there's no budget. Mm -hmm. It's a reduction in growth. Right? Yes. Growth. So growth. instead of growth like that, you're going to have, instead of more spending like that, you're going to have more spending like that. So, and, and how much is that? It's 2%. So if you're talking about the military, for example, the president wants to hire another 100 soldiers. Can he only hire 98? Of course not. He can hire all 100, and he can take that 2% cut in, in increased spending sure. and apply it somewhere else in the Defense Department. The president has an obligation under the Constitution to make the federal government work and to make it do the things that we have hired it to do. You can't get on an airplane without going through the TSA. The plane can't get in the air without an, uh, an air traffic controller. The country will not stay free and safe without soldiers. These are far more important than other operations of the government from which he could cut in yeah. order to keep those operations that we rely on every sure. day at full force. As commander in chief, he should be making any future reductions in future spending as easy as possible. But instead, he and his cabinet are out there and they're scaring the living daylights out of people. You, you know they, what? They're becoming painful. He's become president panic. This is the key word, pain. This is almost an impeachable offense. If the president is deciding how to spend money in order to hurt us, rather than in order to provide us with the services for which we have paid and for which we have hired him. He is doing the opposite of what he has taken an oath to do. He has taken an oath faithfully, I underscore the word, it's in the oath and it's in the Constitution, to uphold the laws. That means make the government work. Don't right. make it painful. Find a way to make it work on 2% less. Judge, is there a chance that in this legislation, which I was talking with Brett Baer yesterday about, he can't just cut out conventions or nebulous things. He has to go across and look at everything in these departments. He has he, leeway. He has absolutely has leeway as the chief executive. Then why are, they, why are Republicans voted to give him leeway to cut where he wants? The Republicans didn't vote to give him leeway. Leeway They're is about to. Leeway is integral to his office as the chief executive, as the as the head of the executive branch. He can prioritize money and prioritize cuts. So if the Defense Department is told. Uh, 80 billion less this year than we were going to give you. It's not 80 billion less than last year. It's still more than last year. Yeah. He can decide where that 80 billion is going to be cut, not in tanks and not in soldiers, but in something behind the scenes. But instead, oh, instead he, he wants to cut in a way that's going to make us stand online for five hours at the airport, quote, to teach the Republicans a lesson. You All know right. what, Mr. President? We elected you to run the government, not to teach the Republicans a lesson. All right. Uh, yeah. You're here to teach lessons. <laughs> All right. All right. That's the way the Constitution works. I know it. Thank there you, you sir. <laughs>